Hola, ¿cómo están? Hoy nosotros estamos trabajando sobre palabras y oraciones y las partes de las oraciones. So I said, hello, how are you guys? Today we're going to be working on word sentences and the parts of sentences. Empecemos, which means let's start. Okay. Okay, let's see here. All right, convertendo. Class A, ¿quién sabe qué esto significa? Which means, who knows what this means? Yeah, I do, it means turning. Sí, bien, yes, good. Convertendo means turning. Convertendo means turning. All right, let me see if I can use that in a sentence. Okay, let me see here. Um, después nosotros pasa tres cales nosotros vamos Co convertendo a la dere derecha. So I said, after three streets, we will be after after we pass after three streets, we will be turning on the right. Okay. Después nosotros. Pasa tres cales, nosotros vamos convirtiendo a la derecha. So after three, after we pass three streets, we will be turning down the right. Let me try to go over the parts. Después means after, después after. Nosotros means we, nosotros we. Pasa means pass, pasa, pass. Tres means three, tres, three. Cales means streets, cales, streets. Nosotros means we, nosotros, we. Vamos, which means we'll be going, or we're going. Vamos, we're going. Convertendo means turning. Convertendo. Turning. A means. Yeah, yeah. Convertendo means turning. A means at. A and at. La means the. La da. It's in feminine form, so the word that it's describing is also in feminine form. Derecha means right. Derecha, right. So, después nosotros pasa tres cales. Nosotros vamos convirtiendo a la derecha, which means after passing three streets, we will be. After we pass three streets, we are going to be turning on the right. Okay. Vended. Class A. Quien sabe que es the significa? Which means, who knows what this means? Yeah, I do. It means to to come. Si, bien, yes, good. Venid means to come. Venid to come. Let me try to use that in a sentence.
All right. Después. Trabajar. Puedes tú. Venid a mi casa. So I said, after work, can you come to my house? Después trabajar puedes tú venir a mi casa. After work, can you come to my house? All right, let me try to go with the parts. Después means after. Después after. Trabajar means work. Trabajar work. Puedes means can you. Puedes can you. Venid means come. Venid come. A means to. A to. Me means my. Me my. Casa means house. Casa house. So, puedes trabajar. No, 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 no. Sorry. Después trabajar. Puedes to uh, venid a mi casa. So after work. That means after work. Can you come to my house? Okay. Sentia. Class A, can, can I introduce that as that, which means who wants to translate this? Yeah, I do. It means uh, to feel. Si, sí, bien, yes, yeah, good. As so is correct, though, that is correct. Bien, good, bien, good. Okay. Sentia means felt. Sentia felt. All right, let me try to use that in a sentence. Eos sentia feliz durante la canción. So, so that means they felt happy during the song. Let me uh, try to go over the parts now. Eos means they, eos they. Sentia means felt, sentia felt. Feliz means happy, feliz happy. Durante means during, tarante during. La means the, la da. It's in feminine form, so the word it's describing is also in feminine form. Uh, form. <laughs> uh, cancion means song, cancion song. Alright. Eos, sentia feliz durante. La canción means they felt happy during the song. Okay. Egotado means class A can. Sabe que es the significa, which means who knows what this means. Yeah, I do. It means exhausted. Si, bien, yes, good. Agotado means exhausted. Agotado, exhausted. Let me try to use that in this sentence. All right. Uh, qual persona can justo code Dias Oras Puede Esta Agotado. So I said any person who just ran. For 10 hours may feel or may be exhausted. All right, let me try to go over the parts. Qual means any, qual any. Persona means person, persona, person. Can means who, can who. Justo means just, justo, just. Code means ran, code ran. 
Pada means four, Pada four. Dias means ten, Dias ten. Oras means hours, Oras hours. Puede means uh, could or maybe. Okay, Puede means may. Esta means uh, like B. Esta B. And it's talking about like a temporary thing, so that's why I use esta instead of like s. So esta is more of like a, can be more of like a, something you feel for a temporary amount of time. So that's why I used it. Okay, esta agotado means exhausted. Agotado means exhausted. So qual persona can justo corre. Para diez horas puede estar agotado, which means any person who just ran ten uh, for ten hours may feel may be exhausted. Okay, I think that's all right. Uh, I'll go over it in the description if anything needs changed. I guess okay, uh, or fixed. Sabamos means let's go up. Sabamos, let's go up. Uh, let me try to do a sentence for that. Sabamos el montaña. No, no, no. Let me do that again. Sabamos a el montaña. Proximo Samana. So I said, let's go up to the mountain next week. Okay. Uh, let me try to go over the parts. Sabamos means let's go up. Sabamos means let's go up. A means two. A two. L means the, el the, it's in masculine form, so the word that it's describing is in masculine form. Montaña means mountain, montaña, mountain, and it's in masculine form, okay. Proxima means next, proxima, next. Semana means week, semana, week. So, so vamos, a el montaña, proxima, Samana means let's go up to the mountain next week. All right, let's try to do a few sentences here. So we'll start on 17 here. El niño está triste para su madre está... Yeah, it's, to me it wasn't written very dark, so I just darkened it, okay. El niño está triste, pero su madre está más triste que el clase. ¿Quién sabe que esto significa? Which means, who knows what this means? Yeah, I do. It means the child is... is sad but his mother but his mother is more sad than him okay uh see as so is correct though yes that is correct all right oh uh, bien bien trabajar good work all right let's go over the parts L means the, el the, it doesn't have a slant above it, so you know it's not talking, it's not saying he, okay, particularly, but it is in masculine forms, it has to be to describe this word, okay, they got a matching form, okay, niño means the um, boy, niño boy, esta means is, esta is, it's uh, a temporary thing, so that's why it uses esta, Instead of like S, 
See, it's talking about a motion, sort of a minimal motion there. Okay. Which are like, you know, things you feel and it, they change sometimes. Okay. Tristede means sad. Tristede sad. Pedo means but. Pedo but. Su means his. Su his. Matere means mother. Matere mother. Mother. Esta means is. Esta is. Mas means more. Mas more. Tereste means sad. Tereste sad. K means than. K than. L means him. L him. As a sign above it, so that's how you know it's saying him. Him or he. Okay. El niño está triste, pero su madre está más triste que él. Means the, the boy is sad, but his mother is sadder than him. Is more sad than him. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking about stuff. Sorry. Sorry about just laughing. I was thinking about uh, others. <laughs> just thinking about... <laughs> Something else. Okay. Ella vive con sus tres hermanos menores. Menores. Clase. Quien sabe que es the significa, which means who knows what this means. Yeah, I do. It means she lives with th her three younger brothers. C, bien, yes, good. All right, let's go over the parts. All right, um, hold on. All right. Or it could be talking about siblings, I think. Since it, it says hermanos, I think it talks. That means it's talking about brothers or brothers and sisters, I think. So it might be saying siblings. Um, yeah. Just like if it were hermanas, you would know it's only talking about sisters. Anyways, okay, let's see here. Let's go over the parts. A, I mean she, A, as she. Vive means lives, vive lives, con means with, con with, sus means her, sus her, it's in. It's talking about, it has an S at the end of it, so, you know, it's talking about multiple things, okay. Today's means three, today's three. Hermanos means uh, uh, brothers, hermanos, brothers. Menore, menores means younger, menores, younger. Ella vive con sus today's hermanos menores means she lives with her three younger brothers. Okay. Sera va a... Gymnasio porque quiere ser más fuerte que soy mayor amiga. Clase, quien sabe que es de significa, which means who knows what this, this means. Ugh. Yeah, I do. It means Sarah goes to the gym because she wants to be stronger than her, uh, than her older sister. See, sí, bien, yes, good. All right, let's go over the parts. Sera means uh, Sarah. It's a name. Sera, Sera. Va means goes. Va goes. Al means to the. Al to the. Gymnasio means gym. Gymnasio, gym. Porque means because. Porque because. Quiere means she wants. Quiere means she wants. Ser means to be. Ser to be. Mas means more. Mas more. Fuerte means strong. Fuerte strong. K means than. K than. Su means her. Su her. Meror means older. Meor. Older. Amiga means uh, sister. Amiga sister. Sera va a. Al gymnasio porque quiere ser más fuerte que su mayor amiga means Sarah goes to the gym because she wants to be stronger than her older sister. Alright, so is total el tiempo que tenemos para hoy, which means that is all the time that we have for today. Esperanza nosotros aprendido mucho, which means I hope that we learned a lot. Tienen un bien día, which means have a good day. Adios, which means goodbye. Adios, goodbye. All right, bye.